Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome back to Pixel Tamers. Um, so uh, I haven't played, I haven't done anything on the game yet today. I, so take it off, everything right from the beginning of a normal day. So you get daily sign in. Um, I was without Wi-Fi a couple days, which really stinks that I miss out on some of these. Some of these uh, bonus prizes, like these Greninja shards would be nice, but can't get those. Alright, so, little uh, short story. Last, last video of the game, I accidentally left me signing on, so my username and password were in the video, and someone logged on and released all my Pokemon, so that kind of delayed this video getting done, because I had to rebuild up a team from, you know, the Caterpies and not really anything. Caterpies, Rattatas, Clefairies, and Clefables. But, so I had to rebuild up, and then I worked some to make my team a little bit better than they were last time. I think they were in, like, the maybe 300s, and now... I'm up at 665,000. So we got Alolan Muck. He's an S rank. We got this Heracross. He's an A rank. Rampardos. He's a D rank. Detective Pikachu, an A plus rank. Glaceon, a C rank. And Charizard. So let's see. So it looks like we have base points that we can give some people. Choose getting up there and having his all maxed out. So is Glaceon. Let's see, and then try to put a lot in this Alolan muck because being an S rank, he's pretty strong. Pikachu is my strongest at 141, and then Muck at 116. All right, so some new things in the game: uh, traveling. Let me just claim all these from last. Well, I think you could show you. So like I sent Muck away on a traveling. He came back, he improved his special defense by two and his speed by sixteen. And he got six or he got three um septile shards. Uh who did I send here? Okay, Rampados. He earned ten diamonds, his physical attacks up to six, and his physical defense went up twelve, and he got four uh camera ups shards. So they're nice things to send people off to train. Let's see, it's getting hard now because most of my people have their stats maxed out. Or, at least some of them. Uh, another thing that's new is this base stat training. So, roll a dice and usually you'll boost up their base stats, but that time I got two headlines on the chest, so I got some stones. So we'll just move through this quickly. Because you get 10 of these. Well, you can have 10 at max. You get one every half hour. So in a five hour period, you'll go from zero to being maxed out. It's not bad because 10 of them, each one gets you about 100. So it's an extra 1,000 points. Last one. It's kind of annoying how slow it is, but. Oh, and you can also tell. Well, I got a Charizard up there for my symbol. But I got. What do they call them? Kakarot Toe for my character. And I've unlocked a few more titles, so those bonuses are nice. Got plenty of equipment here we can smelt down. Uh, nothing else too valuable there. Let's see, we got the gotcha. And so, the third row down here at the bottom says draw one time to get an orange Pokemon. So, this one's guaranteed to be orange. Hopefully it's a new one. Uh, Blastoise. I think... I had, did I have Blastoise before? I, knew, I had Swampert. I don't know. Uh, we got some choice spectacles there. 
So we'll just, I just want to look. So Blast Toys is a B rank. I'm trying to figure out if he would fit in my team. If it would be worth replacing Ramproduce with him. We can train him up here at least and see what this does. Uh, 64, nah, he's still pretty weak. But what's nice is we can go to this assist and we can place him hopefully somewhere. He can give us a boost. No defense, 10, 8, 6. Okay, that is still going. Okay, yeah. It's not a big boost, but. So that's our best combination for them. Uh, let's see, quest. So I smelted the gear. Gotta release some Pokemon. Uh, I usually just get rid of all the duplicate ones because it doesn't. Each one doesn't really do much, but like 360 is not enough to increase anyone. Man, there should be sound. Let me turn this back on. I don't know what the direction key is. Claim these rewards from the arena. All right. Ooh, okay, and we got enough shards we can unlock Sceptile. How's my... Yeah, I still don't... I don't think I've gotten any of these. Oh wait, I know I have it currently activated. 0 out of 20. Because they're all pretty hard to obtain. Let's see, let them tell me how many I have. Uh, we'll just check out the shop quick. Okay, so... It's, right now it says this blue flute's stronger, so we'll purchase it, hopefully. Yeah, if it doesn't pop up right away, saying about equipping it, it's probably not stronger. Let's go to But whenever they have the green arrow, like... Because that should mean that it is stronger. Okay, it's a higher level, so like if we equipped it, yeah, I go down there. So like now, the one with the green arrow is the strongest. But, two more things to smelt. Didn't cost much. Uh, Timely quest, daily login. Uh, Pikachu's Funland. So this, I'm not sure where I got these park tickets from, but, so I have two of them. And one of them, it'll break one of these random, one of these bottom six at random. And the one on the far left is the most, I think breaking that one lets you buy the next level up. Okay, so that's not what I was hoping for. Okay, so what I really lucked out in, when that person traded all my stuff I had, enough of points in one of these that I could get that Detective Pikachu and then he helped training up a lot. Uh, the mining got a lot of mines reactivated or available to me but because I'm such a high level and my team's not nearly as strong so like this guy his team's 1.2 million yeah so mine's like half that strong but I don't need most of those evolution stones. The only thing here I really need is these enhancement stones. Like this guy's a VIP 4 so he's spent some money in the game. Let's see, is this... Oh, it's an army cap. So, yes. So since the video started I've gone up 5,000, which isn't bad. 
Okay, so that guy's too strong for me to try to fight. So we'll go a little bit lower. And that gear enhancement stones that I'm trying to get, they help me improve, enhance these things. So like, yeah. Maybe 270 diamonds and it takes 20 to get that another level higher. Alright, so there was none there. I don't know which one that was. And it seems like a lot of other people are the same way I am. They're leaving most of these. Okay, good, I can take this one. Because I have... Let's see, that's 200 evolution stones, and that's another 500. So I have plenty of those. Um... See. Another thing you'll notice is my name was changed to this 101031761, 10, which is annoying because I think it's like 800 diamonds to change your name on here. Uh, let's see. Another thing that's fun to do is the gym. So you can, once you clear a gym, you get to rush it, which is nice. So I'm just gonna. Well. I don't want to rush them all because I want to show you. So, in here you have three trainers. Well, two trainers and the gym leader. And you have to do all three battles in a row without healing any. So. Since this is only the third gym, I think I've beaten four total. And I'm working on the fifth gym. So we'll go back to rushing. Yeah, because I can rush Celadon. It's just this next one. I, we're going to save that for the end of the video just to make sure that I've maxed out my team as strong as I can. Because I was close last time. So if I can beat it, I want to. Uh, let's see, we need to go to the guild. Some things requires you to send any message in guild channel. So that's easy one there. And then I also have to donate to the guild. Let's see, that's another mission done. Quick combat, it's easy enough. You go into this explore, spend 30 diamonds. Gives you, you know, what you would have earned exploring. I'm not sure for how long. But, uh, anything good to craft? No. Alright, so time limited quest. Got some t ten stones. It's weird music, but let's see. I don't really want to evolve Rampardos because he's probably going to be one of my next ones traded. Uh, let's see what else. I need to do some daily dungeons, depending on your CP level, you can do battles. Well, you do a battle and it will reward you with one of the base kind of ingredients or resources for the rest of the game. Alright, so there's one for gold, one for these friendship berries, which reminds me I need to spend those. Um, evolution stones, super important. They add a couple thousand points to your Pokemon. Uh, yeah, these evolution stones, like I would said. Let's see, because it caught... Yeah, so I got 15 of them. 
But these Evo stones, I need like th at least 30. So every six days I... Or not six. I think every other day, or every third day, I get enough to evolve someone. So I get like 45 just from doing this every day. So I get a lot of the raw evolution stones. So I don't really need any more. Alright, so we've done that. So I'm gonna evolve this muck. Cause let's see. Oh that's right, when he evolves it just gets the some stat boost. It's the star up that I was thinking. Yeah, so we'll do that. And that. And evolve him. So there's another 3,000 points. Let's see, draw another gacha. And it's a Cubone. Oh, that's right. And then my friendship. So we'll take him up. This is, I think, nine levels. Which one about a hundred or so. Let's see how one of these battles go, because these are get should be getting pretty hard. I usually just leave it in auto and don't even notice it. Every so often it's just like, hey, you've reached a milestone. Have this extra treasure. <laughs> it looks like it's going pretty well. Yeah, I can't imagine losing that now, but... Alright. Let's go back to the town. Pick up these online rewards. Time limited request. Oh yeah. Just, there's another Evo stone pack, so that's another 10. Let's see, where else can I go? There is something... Oh. That's right, the shop in the arena, well not the arena, shop has different tabs where you can purchase different things. I don't think I need any of these right now. Let's see, use those up. Quest, so I have a, need to do a cave, a ladder, Forge gear and keep doing the drop gotchas. Gotchas. I don't know. So I'm head to this cave. So these are these are dungeons where you go on, do like four or five battles at a time. But let's see. I guess we can go ahead and do one of these. They're not too bad. Mostly just leave it in auto and let the game <laughs> win for me. These are nice because they. Your health regenerates between each fight. So. Don't have to worry. And if you lose one, it just takes you, kicks you back out and you can retry it. But. I should be able to beat all these because I've beaten them before. <laughs> I was a little weaker then. But, yeah. Or I guess I'm a little stronger now. So Venusaur will be the last one we need to battle, which I think is right after this Charizard. Alright, this Charizard defeated, and here's Venusaur. So the one that's to worry about on here is that Mega Arcanine, but just plowed right through him. So what's it going to give me? The IV Refined Stone, which I found out are super helpful. Um, let me just rush this two more times, just to see what I can get out of it. Blue Gems, not too valuable. Uh, let's see, come on, Rainbow Seal, good. So how the seals work, is each one of your Equipments, you get a, you can place a seal. But so if I want to place this, there's a 30% chance of placing in a new seal, 70% chance of covering up one. 
So they're really hard, but it looks like... Okay, I just... I covered it up, but it was a better one, so... Something at least. There's more base stat stones. Oh, I guess I need to open that. Let's see, most of his attack... No. The music really changed on here. His attacks are physical, so we're gonna give him some of them. Is there anything? Nothing too important looking in my bag. Okay, so the travel we can still do, but I'm gonna. I wanna save that last one to use on my muck again. Challenges. Which one? Cave expeditions, yeah. These are pretty hard. They're up to eight, recommended 800,000. And I think I'm at like 680. Probably not enough, but you get three chance. You get three. You can lose up to three times a day, so it can't hurt to try. You know, once. I usually do like my first wave of everything, try one of these. Maybe later today I'll try another one. Usually only can beat one at a time, so there's no real big gain off winning. It's just just that little extra gain, but looks like we got it. And nine Typhlosion shards. Which, yeah, so now the recommended team is 910,000. So, probably won't go as well. And Rampardose is usually the first one lost. Because he's. I think he's the only one that's below 100,000. I think everyone else is above 100,000. But. Pikachu just hanging on. Yeah. Alright, so. Quest. Take that. Um, oh, yeah, for clearing that one, we get 10 diamonds. Let's see, anything else we can do to power us up? No. Must, yep, it just turned 2 o'clock here. Which means there are troublemaking diglets in the guild. Don't really understand this, but everyone in the guild is supposed to come together and each eliminate five of these diglets. I mean, yeah, you get more evolution stones and other things. I think this I think doing this also completes like one of the daily challenges, so it's not it's not it's worth it just for that alone. And to keep my resources high. It should be like four I think. Yeah, after the first episode, I didn't plan on doing another one, but I was kind of done with the game, especially after I lost all of my Pokemon. Um, I tried working with support to see if they could restore them, but they weren't helping. Uh, time loading quest, there it is. Yeah, so it gets me ten of these... Oh, those cards. Yeah, I don't really use those. I don't think. I think if I wanted to evolve, like... Uh, one of these lower level Pokemon. I think I use those. Um, let's see. So we can head to the arena. PvP. That's right. It is. It has started. You just go and sign up each time. Oh, and apparently I have rewards. Two Latios shards and 50. So sign them up. Which looks like I was a participant. 
Oh yeah, I've no doubt that that's where I ended. Oh yeah, so this is from between people across all the servers. So let's see. So this guy has 1.9 million points. And his Pokemon are terrifying. Yeah. So I have no doubt that I will not be seeing any of those rewards anytime soon. Uh, we did the gym. Did the, back to the, we'll head to the arena. Um, it's always a toss up if my team will be able to beat another one. Because when I look at my team, I'm not impressed with any of them. But then when I look at other teams, I'm like, wow, these are big, scary Pokemon. Or like, I see a Heracross, a Pikachu, a Glaceon. I'm sure Glaceon can become pretty strong in the normal games, but it's not really a strong looking Pokemon. This is a close, but yeah. All right, we can draw another gacha. I don't know what it is? Oh, leftovers. I think they let you heal a little bit each time. Yeah, so there's that for doing the ladder match. Let's see. I don't know. I think. So if I go back to autoplay, I can do one of these explorations for Officer Jenny's secret. Her house got stolen again. Does, she, does Officer Jenny have a mobile home? I don't know. But apparently a golem stole Officer Jenny's house. Cause that makes sense. Okay, so we need that's right we need a golem so for these I get a limited number of actions up top 18 there for clearing spaces um, six keys to open chest and I have one that lightning bolt that lets me like auto clear an enemy I usually like to explore around and try to find the boss first. Okay, so here's the boss. And doesn't look too bad. Just the one orange. The rest are pretty weak. Beating the boss will clear all of those rock areas away. So saves time to just go and fight the boss first. Sometimes I'll get the power-ups along the way, but depends. Most of these I can just beat them without, so I don't waste the time going and finding them all. And so he is an orange, so we'll just go check him for the time savings. Take the HP. Wall picks, super weak. Can do that battle. Beedrill. We'll do this one. Yeah, usually then go and get the chest or just start making my way around and clearing the map. Super weak team. Why is it? What? Oh, that's right. I forgot we don't heal. I was gonna say, why is my Rampardos so injured and now dead? You see, and that's the weird thing, like. I don't know why that team could, like, how that team could have given mine any challenges. It's like, they're all first evolutions, little brown Pokemon. But then, like, this one is a two hit kill. Alright, so we'll claim all that and leave. Alright, uh. I think I'm pretty much out of things to do. 
but we can we'll go back to this gym and try to do a fight. I had beaten the first three last time. It was just, you know, if I, I need to keep my team alive in the last fight. Fighting Koga. Oh yeah, and this is the first gym where there's four people instead of three. Which, again, which adds to the... Because I beat Koga, but now to beat... Whoever this is. It's skinned as Officer Jenny, but I don't know why Jenny would be in Koga's gym. Unless it's supposed to be his daughter. That could be it. And I think we might do this. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. Alright. Nice. So we cleared that gym. So before we go on to the next one, so down in assist, we unlocked another one of these gyms. So S defense. So who has good S defense? 10,000, 8,000, 9. And I'll probably rearrange all these later to try to get maximum efficiency and stuff, but. Alright. So now we're up to 686, which is not bad. That's like 20,000 in this one. I don't even know how long I've been recording. Nothing gives me a time. Okay, so now we're at the Saffron Gym. And Sabrina has Gary's sprite. Not sure why, especially considering all of these sprites can be stolen directly from what would be the most recent. Fire... Or no, Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver I think would be the most recent use of these kind of sprites. I don't even... Yeah, so even this first match is... A challenge. Yeah. But that's fine. I'm happy to... Happy to have beaten another one. Yeah, so, and you can only lose these once a day. That's why I wanted to save that for the end. travel. Oh, I guess we've gone for about 30 minutes then. Uh, so, Muck was injured and had to be hospitalized for a day. Got 9 HP and 9 P defense. So I'm curious. Ooh, travel ticket. Used to refresh travel group. Oh, that's... I don't think that's... So it was Muck. Yeah, so Muck and my Charizard were injured. Alright. So who wants. Nope. Maybe. Yes, so. Let's see. What's nice from doing the gym battles is it gives you let's see is it set up yeah it gives you these books that help you they let you upgrade your you get a boost based on an element but it's so like each one let's see each one you get or give you a hundred points to upgrading it get enough it'll upgrade one of these instead of 10% it would be like 10 and a half so I usually keep that on whatever gives me the best CP and it looks like I've gotten enough yeah I can unlock Blaziken and there I am 
on the scroll wheel at the top. So I feel like I should really try to get some of these people powered up and onto the team. Because they're pretty strong. Sceptile might be useful to replace Rampreduce with. Because I feel like that grass would add a nice balance to the team. So what type of attacks does Heracles have? Uh... I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, if you, you can sacrifice orange Pokemon to power up your attacks. So like this one, instead of doing 90 damage, it'll do 108 damage. So is that an extra 20% boost in damage? I'm thinking that's about it that I can do. So, um, what is IV? So, that be no. So for the IV, you can do this refine, and it gives you thousands and thousands of points just for getting like middle of the way, because you can get like eighteen sixty. It looks like if you have all six of them maxed out somehow. But if Pikachu's about half. With the rest of those, he might be pushing like 300,000. I think those like directly correlate to CP. <laughs> Alright. We got this, a speed base. So now, that's five of those done. Uh, we can see if there's anything to forge. No. Oh, I get another free refresh. Diving suit now. If one of those is stronger than what I have, or if it's pretty cheap, I usually use it, but it doesn't look like it is this time. Alright, and another being online for 20 minutes, I got a raw one raw evolution stone. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Oh. Got some free experiences. Oh, I leveled up. That's nice. So that'll give me 2,000 there. 16, 13, 23, 17, 16. So I'm up to 697. So, what, I got about 32,000 experience in just this, or CP in just this one episode, so not bad at all. I'd say this was surprisingly one of the wet, better days. I'm glad I chose today to record this. Um, yeah, so I'll probably keep going. If you guys want to see more videos on this, let me know. I'll keep going and trying to get either more Pokemon unlocked and obviously stronger ones. Because I forget. I feel like I'm, let's see the shards. Where are they at? So I'm close to getting a Greninja. I just need 30 more. Where was the daily logon thing? No. Yeah, my only complaint with this is it's super hard to find, like, the... Like, a lot of these up here are the same. Daily? No. First... Air contest, Pokemon shop. This is where I got my, um... A low and muck from. He was three of these purple tickets like that. Like this Lapras is. Okay, here it is, Daily Sun. Okay, so tomorrow I should get 30 of these, and I'll get that, um. I'll be able to unlock Greninja. And then I'll probably. Put, I'll probably put him on the team and replace that Rampados with. Because he should be, being another S rank, he should be pretty strong. I should pretty, probably be able to get him to 100 pretty easy. You know, Rampados has made it up there. He's in the 900s. Or 9, 90, 90,000. Not 900. 
Yeah. And Pikachu was my strongest at the time. That's why his IVs are so good. Because I put a lot of focus into him and trying to get his pretty strong. Yeah. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you liked this video. And if you did, there's a video on the left side of your screen. It's a video YouTube thinks you'll like. And there's one on the right side. It's one that I, the last one I uploaded. You can click my icon there in the middle if you want to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!